Wind is great. It's okay. <laughs> because doctors will come. So today is actually a work day for me, <laughs> and Christy took Caleb to Walmart to buy some essential foods like milk and bread and eggs because we're get supposed to be getting like this enormous end of the world snowstorm tonight. And they're not back yet. And Princess here woke up from that, so we're playing. Abby! Abby, are you cooking? <laughs> She's playing in her room. We have kitchen. We have some Duplo Legos out. She's making me coffee and eggs. Are you making me eggs? Hey, are you making me eggs? Are you cooking? Yeah. So Abby and I are getting some one-on-one -on -one time for a little bit while they finish up at the store. Normally, they're back before Abby would be up, but because we're getting the storm of the century tonight, everyone is out at Walmart, which is like the only store we have here in town that sells food and everyone's out getting stuff. So, the lines are extra long, but I don't mind at all that I can take a work break and play with my little girl. Huh. She's so into this kitchen set. It's kind of funny too because like, we had a kitchen set a while ago for Caleb, and he never really got into it, so I got rid of it. Because they do take up... What? Oh, did you lose the nail polish? Huh? That's okay. They do take up so much space, and for a toy he never played with... Oh! Where'd you go? Uh-uh. Uh-oh. It's okay. Can you go make me something? Are you gonna cook me some cake? For a toy he never played with, it took up so much space, and so I got rid of it. And so I actually debated whether I was going to get another one for Abby, just because Caleb didn't play with it, and it's like one of her favorite toys. She loves it. So I'm so glad we got it. And we got, like, just a basic, relatively cheap, considering how much they can be. What? It doesn't fit in there kitchen set so if she continues to love it maybe we'll upgrade at some point to a little bit of a nicer one that does more stuff right yeah maybe for another birthday you can put the lid on where did your where did your uh, plate go you can put it in the fridge you want to put it in the fridge open the fridge can you open it up do you need help Oh, you can do it. Yes, I figured. Because you're my Miss Independent. <laughs> oh, that's where they went. Now you can put the lid on. No, the coffee goes underneath. No, this cup goes here. Whoops. And then this little strainer goes here. And you shut the lid. There you go. Yeah, that's how it goes. And then the lid goes on there. Yeah, that's how you had it earlier. Remember? There you go. <laughs> I am a little bit bummed because a couple weeks ago in February, 
it was almost 80 degrees and the kids were in shorts and flip flops. And I was hoping, it's okay, that the warmer weather, now I say that meaning like 50s was staying but we woke up this morning and it was 18 degrees outside and they're calling for all this snow so I know a lot of people are happy because we haven't gotten much snow but personally I can do without the snow there you go especially in mid-march I mean if we were gonna get a huge snowstorm I'd rather have it in January or February than it's expected to be for just a cold is the heater hot? It probably is a little warm right now because it's on. Because it's so cold outside. Huh. I was actually getting really excited that it was warm. And I was hoping it would stay kind of warm. And put all their winter stuff away. I washed all their coats. Their boots. Yep. All your snow pants were washed and hung back up in the closet. And now I'm going to have to pull them all out again. <laughs> Ball, you found a ball. Can you take your passy out? You don't need that. You don't need that. Go put it on your bed while you play. We've been struggling a little to get the passy from Abby. She's so attached to it. But she's really not speaking, so we've been more making more of an effort to try and take it from her so she'll speak more. Abby! Where are you going? Do you want your ball? No. Okay. Bye. Are you ready? To go outside? We got a lot of snow. <laughs> oh, Dave. Dave. Boy, right here. Sure. All right, Kale. What's your favorite thing you're going to go do in the snow? Go sledding? Yeah. You gonna go out in the snow? We got a good amount. It's plowing and we got a good amount of snow to play in. Hey, that's sliding. Wow! Let's go sledding. <laughs> Have fun! They're gonna go out in the snow. And I'm going to stay inside where it's warm and toasty. Have fun! Bye! Something on me. <laughs> or when they clipped my hair. <laughs> what? <laughs> when it's great, it's so okay. <laughs> because doctors will come. Wow. <laughs> your head what the doctor say <laughs> I, I need to just on it oh yeah yeah inside is extra cold it's extra cold yeah but I'm it's good for your head after you hit the tree yeah. yeah so tell me what happened well I hit the tree when I was sweating yeah and I sometimes when I go that way it goes this way instead the sled yeah Oh, so you tried to stop, but you hit the tree. Yeah, but I should go 
feet first because I cycle feet first, I could bounce off it and then go the other way. Oh, not sure that's really how it works. <laughs> and then I could knock a tree. But you wouldn't have hit your head first, so that's true. Hmm. I'm glad you're feeling good, though. But I could do this. So last night was absolutely terrifying. Caleb was sledding at the park with Dave and Abby and he got on the sled and he was going down the hill um, with his head going first and his feet behind him and he hit a tree head on. Um, so immediately he had a huge bump and his Face, like the front of his nose and the side of his cheek were totally banged up and bloody and um, it was horrifying and Dave uh, rushed out now we had just had a ton of snow so of course like Dave's car got stuck but we were I was pushing the car like we were trying to rush him to with the urgent care and when he got to the urgent care they said you're gonna have to take him to um, a hospital to be seen because he might need stitches and he might have a concussion and with a head injury they wanted him to be seen at a hospital so Dave rushed him down to Chester County um, Hospital where he could be checked out and God is so good because I was panicking panicking absolutely panicking but this for hitting a tree head-on we got the best news we could have that everything is surface. He didn't have a concussion or any signs of a concussion. Um, nothing is broken. Um, everything from his nose is just, it's cut, but it's not um, deep and it's not like a gash where it needed to be sutured shut. Um, he had absolutely no neurological problems. He could answer all their questions. He was singing in the hospital. Um, they checked him out, waited three hours, and everything checked out, and he was good to go. And in fact, um, when he got up, he slept all night. Um, he lost about three hours because he didn't go to bed until after 10 o'clock. But um, when he got up this morning, he said his head didn't even hurt. So I'm so grateful. It's terrifying, um, you know, as a parent. And I just, I feel like there are so many people that have talked about sledding injuries or sledding accidents and I know stuff like this is going to come up and it's going to happen but it was just it was absolutely terrifying in the moment um, to think that he could have had a concussion or something could have been wrong with his head. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. God is so good um, because it really like he could have knocked his teeth out. He could have broken his nose. He could have had a really bad concussion because um, he hit the tree pretty hard. So I'm thankful today that he is good, everything is good, he's going to heal, everything is going to be fine, um, and that he's acting normal and everything is going to be okay. So thankful for that, and I'm just holding him a little bit closer today.